it's about to it's about to be a oh full play. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> almost. almost there. We're here just setting up, we're getting ready for the big moment. All the teams across the US look like that, their play notes on, everything is recording. It's been a long time. It's actually kind of crazy to think about it because we worked on it all this summer, all last summer, and then even the summer before some of these ideas kind of started to come together into what would build up to be what we're doing right now. So it's it's been a lot of work coming up just to this one day and this one moment. At this workshop, we'll be having eight teams that all come and build up all their kits. So we have kind of five main systems that they're going to be putting together. So we just have eight teams now, but we'll have like 42 teams in July. So this is our one shot to make sure everybody's on the same page. So we're here um, two months out from the August 21st, 2017 total solar eclipse. Um, we're here in Rexburg, Idaho with our team for a practice launch. We're going to be launching two balloons today. Um, and the goal is to basically get those balloons at altitude at the correct time. Currently behind me, they're working on setting up the ground stations. So these will be used on for tracking the balloon for both video, still image, uh, and also for tracking the balloon. So right now we are in the stage where we have a couple of our balloons that are going to be higher up in the air and floating, um, have launched. Um, and then we're um, about to launch a few of our other balloons that are going to be streaming data. We're just a couple of minutes from now going to have what's called first contact with the sun where the moon first starts blocking the sun. Um, and so we're watching all of the different feeds from across the U.S. and, you know, waiting for ours to get on. Our balloons are actually launching from about 15 miles away. So we're actually um, going to pick them up from here at the station where we're going to actually push them live to the internet. So all just the last minute preparations to catch them as they, they come up. Yeah, we have first contact everybody. You can see the edge of the moon crossing the sun. I'm excited to see everything work nicely and, and all this work that everyone's put in come through and come out to be something that's really cool and really memorable for even just other people to watch across the country. It's exciting. It is incredibly rewarding for me uh, in my job to watch these students grow in both technical skills, social skills, business skills, uh, in what they're doing. These guys are going to have some experiences um, that they can't replicate anywhere else from this project. To, it's about to be a there full of oh, wow. oh. <laughs> Almost there! Oh my god, he's like tiny. Oh, 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 it's almost there! Oh, 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 It's a huge success. There's been tons and tons of students involved in this and the excitement here when it got dark and you could see the stars was just over the top. It's been a good, a good run. Um, it's been a lot of student involvement. Uh, hopefully a lot of students have made career choices that they might not have done without this experience. So, uh, so you kind of wonder what's next, right? And I think I'm totally hooked on eclipse chasing and uh, who knows, maybe the next one we can go see that one as well.